Hello from the world headquarters for the Hanging with Herky Empire. I know what you're thinking. This is not Wednesday. You're right. It's Thursday. And we have had quite the week. And I'm going to try to give you the Reader Digest version really quick. So, last Thursday, uh, last Wednesday, sorry, I was in so much pain. You heard from us on the beach in Pensacola, Florida. Right. Actually. And uh, we had mentioned that I had hives. Well, they <clears throat> got even worse. So, Thursday morning, we got up and started for home so I could go to the doctor on Monday. So anyway, we got to the southern part of Alabama, Burstow, Barstow, Brewstow, Brewstow. something like that. Yeah, Brewston, I think. And the <laughs> van started acting up. Well, Ed worked on it on the parking lot of the uh, O'Reilly O'Reilly store. Nothing. No luck. No. So I had happened to put some pictures up on Hanging with Herky Facebook. And some people who are who we've met through YouTube who are now friends, Dave and Cindy, saw it. Dave drove over Friday morning, helped us get a U-Haul truck and a U-Haul flatbed. He towed the runaway to his house and we followed suit because of storm. Winter storm was hitting in Tennessee, so we didn't want to head home that night. So we spent the night with them, had a delicious dinner. Thank you, Cindy. And a great night's sleep. We got up uh, Saturday morning mm -hmm. and drove for home. And uh, 15 hours later, we pulled in to Peg and Greg's house because our driveway was too short to handle this huge, wrong, long uh, caravan thing that we had going on. I'm here to tell you. Anyway, so... Ed went down Tuesday, picked up the runaway from Dave, met him halfway. It's home. It's gutted. The um, there it goes. The trash man hauled off the old camp, uh, the old mattress yesterday, and we are starting anew. The van is in the driveway. We are still looking for somebody to replace the engine. We need a new engine in hey, that van. Hey, Herky, leave the camera alone. <laughs> He's sniffing it. All right, so, so that, there it is. That, she gave you the Reader's Digest version of what's right. going on. So we are back in Indiana We're trying, not Arizona. To re, trying to regroup. We had hoped to be in Arizona by now uh, trying to regroup. So let me, now she gave you the Reader's Digest version. Let me tell you technically what happened. <laughs> so, um, you know, when Nancy broke out in hives, we thought, if you remember in last week's update, we said... Um, we thought we had it under control. We thought she was allergic to pecans because we had stopped twice and got pecans and she got hives. So come to find out she's not allergic to pecans. Yay. We uh, started searching, trying to figure out what it is. And look, here's the deal. And the, it's all over Facebook. Now, I don't know why I didn't know this, but now I know I've seen We apologize. It. Uh, it's all over Facebook. It's all over the internet. Some of these Amazon mattresses you, you get. Now, listen, it's not the mattress itself. It's a sock that goes on the outside of the mattress to make it fireproof. It starts disintegrating and puts fiberglass all over everything. Because we have had our, <clears throat> our runaway six years. So we've been sleeping on that bed for six years. And, and no problem. That sock on this trip started breaking down and releasing Actually, fiberglass. Actually, it started in October. Remember, yeah. I broke out. Yeah. Yeah. Started releasing fiberglass particles everywhere. Everywhere. So that is the reason why we decided, like, we are within a day's drive from home. Let's go home and deal with that. So we're dealing with that right now. Mm -hmm. We took the mattress. The trash man came and picked the mattress up. Last Thursday, we had a hotel room. Because <laughs> we weren't sleeping in a camper. Hey, the... Um, the mattress. I'm going to show you right here a snippet that I recorded uh, when we, we took the cover off and took a look at the mattress. Now I'm going to tell you something. If you have this mattress, don't take the cover off in your runaway camper. That's what I did wrong. And it said shards of fiberglass everywhere. Everywhere. The I don't know the name of the mattress. You're going to have to do the research on your own to figure out whether yours has a fiberglass sock on it or not. I don't know. And if it does, but, take the whole mattress out. And then, then take, take the, the cover, cover off. off. 
Don't take the cover off. And don't take it off in your house. Take it off out in the yeah, yard. Yeah. All right. Let's cut to that video. So just so you know that we're we're not imagining this. Look at all this fiberglass that's along here. So there's the bedding I've had to pile up here, and we're trying to clean this out. Um, this fiberglass is just shedding like crazy. Look at this. So it's no wonder that she is just broke out like crazy. So uh, I'm going to put the link to this mattress down below. We've had this in our camper for several years, but uh, there's no doubt this is causing her problems. Look at all this fiberglass. Now we were lucky in that we had a uh, mattress cover on this bed and I think it's uh, prevented for causing more problems. But hey, do not buy this mattress and check the mattress that you have to make sure that this very thing, same thing isn't happening because this could cause you a lot of illness. We're gonna run to Walmart and see if I can pick up another mattress, but uh, this one's gotta go. Now you see why we had to get that out of the camper, all that fiberglass. So uh, we have either thrown, we have thrown away most of the things that were in our camper. I've washed everything. Everything that was made out of plastic where we could- Wipe it down, we did. Where we could wipe it down, we did. So, our clothes we just washed, <clears throat> but everything else has been, except for my grandmother's quilt. I've washed it like four or five times. So there you go. We uh, we hope we got the problem solved. I'm currently working on a new bed frame and uh, new shelves and everything in the in the runaway. Uh, we'll update you and let you know how that goes. But that's why we decided to come home uh, and just take care of that. Our plan was be home for about three or four days, take care mm -hmm. of that situation, hit the road. Didn't happen. No, because the van. Engine. Yeah, so we, uh, we got we got part of the way home. Not and, even part. Of the yeah, way. <laughs> a few hundred miles home, and I lost compression on cylinder number five. That is, uh, and uh, we through some testing, I found out we had a burnt exhaust valve. So I haven't fixed that right now. Um, it's still cold here in Indiana, and I don't have a place to work on that. Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna hire that done. <laughs> so anyway, that we're still getting pricing for and working on getting it. I feel really bad. You know, I did a bunch of bragging on that van and it came back to bite me. So we have replaced everything. I, I was sick about it. Um, but we have, you know, now I have, I know what's wrong. Now I have a plan. I was very calm. We, I think we both remained calm. I was, I was busy itching. <laughs> so I gotta tell you, there's been a couple people that know what's going on. They're like, did you vlog it? Did you video it? No. Um, we did. Well, I did. I did do something. have some footage of us dragging it across the parking lot, getting it up on the flatbed. So someday you will see that. We, we I don't do know how some, or yeah. when, but someday you we will see that. We won't have a video of this whole disaster. Not because we're we ashamed of that. We may have a snippet of it. Not because we're ashamed of it or nothing. It's just the one... You know, when you're broke down the side of the road and you've got all this stuff going on, you are only focused on... Now, like, I have pictures and I have a little bit of video, but not enough for a 20-minute... That's because I was focused on... Right. Ed was fixing. focused. I didn't have anything else to she do kept saying, except for need, scratch. We need yeah. to vlog this thing and show... I was like, no, I'm too, I'm too I focused on what's going on. So, we'll throw it in with something. We don't know what, but you'll get to see a little bit of what we went through. So, so anyway, where was I? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I forgot. So anyway, you won't see a lot of that. Oh, I know. So last Sunday, the video is all ready to go. Oh, yeah. yeah. We took everything out of the runaway except for like the mattress and the bedding. Except for my computer. Well, Ed's laptop. Look, I'm still scratching. Ed's uh, iPad was under his pillow. That's where it travels when we travel. So it's on the bed under his pillow and... I had the video all set, all edited, all ready to go. I just hadn't downloaded it because we hadn't been in a Wi-Fi area. I forgot to download it and then Sunday the video didn't release. Because so. we didn't have the iPad. So it's this Sunday... It's not like Sunday, we didn't have anything going on. Right. But this Sunday will be <clears throat> Highland Hammock. Hammock State Park. Mm -hmm. So we do have some videos coming out. Mm -hmm. um, so stay tuned. Yeah. We have not abandoned our dream of going to the Arctic Circle. Or even out uh, west. Uh, we have, we're frantically working around here. We have been working really hard. 
right now focusing on getting the runaway camper back in shape and also me working on um, finding uh, places for a shop to repair the van because it's just too big of a project for me to tackle at this time. So, Whew. there I you know, go. Right? Are there you go. exhausted? We are exhausted. Just all of this going on at one time, unbelievable. So, hey, thanks to everybody. You know, a lot of people seen that on Facebook, that, right. on Hang With Harky, that we broke down. A lot of people just reached out to us. To try to help us. Try to help us. And also some people just saying, hey, I'm so far away. I can't help, but uh, praying for praying you. For yeah. you. So uh, we really appreciate it. But Dave and Cindy said, look, well, Dave's retired. He said, I'm however many miles away from you. Mm -hmm. I'm getting in the car right now. I'm coming over. So, so thanks to Dave and Cindy yeah. for uh, opening up their home to us. And uh, hey, in, uh, one of these days, one of these days, I want to do a story just about the runaway camper family. Oh and, my word! And uh, you know, you buy a runaway camper, and I have seen this. This is not the first time I've seen this happen where uh -huh. somebody broke down. They mentioned it, and somebody went to help mm -hmm. them in their area. So, well, one guy picked his up, had a really bad accident, mm -hmm. is in the hospital couldn't go home back to Oregon, a runaway person went and got him from that, the hospital. That was Debbie, Debbie Lloyd. And he recouped in their home uh, until he could travel home. So I can't say enough good things about Well, about and everybody. just the last hurricane, mm -hmm. we have a runaway family in Louisiana. People were coming, dropping off uh, supplies to them, mm -hmm. helping them rebuild. It's, it's, it's an incredible family. And uh, we've heard some people say, well, you know, I've got to run away, but I don't get involved in the rallies and stuff. You're missing out. Yeah, the people, getting yeah. to know the people in Runaway has been great. So, hey, we really appreciate yeah. it. We love you all. We have a lot of work to do. We are not giving up on our YouTube channel. <laughs> or our dream. Or our dream. But, man, we have to take a little pause here and get our my, act together. My big dream that may not come true is on my birthday, I wanted to be in White Sands National Park to get my, as Ed calls it, old geezer pass. Because... Mm -hmm. I love white sands, and I don't think that's going to happen. We don't know if we're going to make that, it. Because my birthday is next week. We so. don't know. Yeah. So, um, hey, we will keep you updated as we go. We'll uh, certainly do that. Um, might be a little hard here to get a couple videos out until we get back on the road, but uh, who knows? We'll see what and, happens. You know, uh, I, this just dawned on me. The fiberglass did not affect you or no. Herky. At I all. was sleeping in the same camper, Yeah. and it didn't affect me at all. Yeah. Um, Nancy it caused a breakout in hyphen. And we we are we are positive that this is the Well, problem. I've been to the dermatologist yeah. and she said most definitely that's the problem. I said, Well, my husband hasn't had any trouble. She said it doesn't affect everybody yeah. the didn't, same way. Didn't seem to bother me. So I've all. had a shot in both hips and I have other medication that helps with the itch so I can sleep at night. And I have this huge tub of cream to put on all the spots. So I'm Mm -hmm. I'm getting better. I'm like at 95% better. So I'm getting better. So we're regrouping. We'll be back <laughs> on the road. Uh, hopefully I can hit some videos out here. Um, but right now I'm concentrating on trying to get back on the road. Yes, we hey, are. Big shout out to Dave and Cindy who really rescued us and helped oh, and us. Oh, Peg and Greg first. Peg and Greg. Of course, Helping get Jack Peg off. Peg and Greg lived by us. Right. And they're, they were friends of ours before Runaway. And they have a... They have a barn. Barn. And well, they have a big shop. Driveway, too. Yeah. And because the rig we had, it was really long and it wouldn't fit in our driveway. So they so. gave us they gave us some help, too. And so. Greg pulled Jack off with his tractor. And mm -hmm. so Dave and Cindy and Peg and Greg. Got a lot of help here. Thank you. So. Oh, and we got home and our friends, um, Barry, and Brenda. Barry and Brenda, had dinner for us in the refrigerator. Mm -hmm. So, and we, Barry rode with Ed to get the, so he didn't have to go so by himself. Go. So, we, you know what? We were taking, we're blessed. So yes, we are. We really appreciate it. Yeah. Man, it's we, been good. Herky is just having a blast chewing on his uh, frog down yeah. there. So, yeah. that's uh, the noise you Hey, get. we're going to let you go. Thank that's you. the update. That's the story. <laughs> now, I know in the comments below, people are going to ask me about, a lot about the mattress. And to be honest with you, I don't know the brand We've of it. We've had it six years. We have no idea. And, I can't because I'm so busy. I don't. I don't want to make. I want this to sound come out right. I'm so busy trying to get this camper and this car back together. I really don't have time to research it and try to figure that out. We uh, will tell you this: 
when we bought the new mattress, Ed just on Amazon just put in non fiber fiberglass free fiberglass free. Mm -hmm. So we really wanted to have a custom made mattress, but there's a back order on there and we want to get back on the road. It, can, it was going to take a couple months yeah. to get a, to get another custom mattress. And that, that's just not what we want to do. So we bought a memory foam, a piece of memory foam, eight inches, fiberglass free fiberglass free yeah, yeah so hey just do some research on it there is tons of lawsuits and everything people have ruined their whole houses because they've stuff. had them in their homes mm -hmm. not not their camper but in their homes. so hey there you go uh we've rambled on enough uh we'll let you go be looking for we'll, we'll update you next week and yeah. let you know while and we're you'll see to, uh highland, highland uh, hammock this sunday yeah. so yeah thanks a lot bye we'll now talk to you on sunday